Man, like right. that sh I mean, it's gonna be. <laughs> that was actually a better shot than I thought you had in you. Um, I don't know. No, 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 that red candy. Big red gum? That's mm -hmm. gum. Yeah. yeah. I mean. But there's a candy. You know I like this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is your this is your type of play. I, I know, I know. But uh, yeah, that's good. I like that one. And with that, welcome back to another episode of Who's Up Next. I'm your host, Mike. AKA Tay Diggs. You see the beard. And we got Aaron right here. Matthew back. McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> back with another episode of Who's Up Next. Mm. Most important thing here in Next Ones is Who's Up Next. So that's the first thing we're going to be going into. And for Who's Up Next, I got my guy, Jared Cover. Mm. I'm doubling back for Jared Cover, mm. okay? I said Jared Cover was a person to look out for at the beginning. First, one of the first episodes on this show. And there's a reason. At this point, he's averaging 19 points. He's up double his, his point total last year. Mm. And um, he's putting on a show. He has a chance to be a lottery pick. And there's a reason why I talked about him earlier. Jared Cover is a smooth guard, and he has a lot of potential. So I'm excited to see what he continues to do. Who would you relate his game to? Mm. Past player, current player. Past current, I would say honestly, I like him in the mode of a. a I, I have Jamal Crawford in my head for some reason, and I won't say it in the sense of his handle and maybe some of the creativity he Tay, has. Tay, those are some big. Tay, look, big Tay, shoes. Understand me. <laughs> I think he really has a ability to stick like a Jamal Crawford. Um, he has similar movements, maybe not exactly the you know creativity like I said before. But uh, you never know, expansion of his game could come, but mm. he's a solid guard. He really does know what he's doing on the court. He's a great passer, has great vision, and man, when I say he's hooping, Texas Tech Texas is what? 10 and 0 right now, ranked I 11th like in the country. So <laughs> he's hooping, no, 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 he's hooping. no other way around it. I don't know if you noticed, but I met Jamal Crawford. And, and well, how was that? Well, he knew me. Oh, so. have you been to uh, Jamal's, uh, you know, summer, summer runs that he has and with his, this thing kind of like the Drew League up in Seattle? Well, you know, I was expecting to get invited based off of our brief relationship. In the past. You know, right, relationship. Right, right, right. Makes but sense. he's busy. You know, and he's, he couldn't hit your phone. Yeah, he's busy. He's got a lot of stuff going Makes on. Makes sense. I mean, it's all right. But uh, for who's up next, what would maybe, you, uh, who would you say is up next? I'll play uh, with him soon. Uh, who's up next for me? You guys, I'm going to I'm gonna stick with the WCC. Okay. <laughs> I love the conference. I'm going to go with Isaiah Panera. You guys, Isaiah Panera, he is averaging 21 points. Cool. Wait, let me double check. Because I just want to make sure I'm giving out the right Yeah, stats. you got to be 100%. You know yeah. He's yeah, averaging 20. Okay, so I was one point off. He's averaging 20 points per game right, right now. Right. He's a red shirt senior, so he's mature. Okay. But for real, he's, he's up next, man. This kid is nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what he's going to do with the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. San Diego, they're, they're kind of a sleeper, man. Mm -hmm. they're, kind of a, they're like kind of in Definitely. that middle range of the WCC. You don't really know what you're going to get. But with this lad right here, right. I don't know if he's going to play, but Hooper, he'll certify. So if you're on his team, right. you're probably going to miss. I'm just just based off of how you play. Okay. So he's probably going to get that rebound and put it back up. That's how he's at. He's at. That's he, his type shoots, of game. Right. He shoots 53% from the field. I want somebody like him on my team, though, because once I miss, he's putting that back up. So yeah. coach can't get mad at me and pull me out. That's a good shot. I mean, you, I'm you, chilling. You, yeah, you had a. As long as I'm chilling, I'm good. Yeah. All right. But really, San Diego does need to be paid attention to. And a lot of these guys are, are people that you need to look out for. Um, and speaking of attention, you know, I'm talking about that. Mm. Uh, there's, some, there's a guy that, that uh, brought some attention to him that he probably didn't want to have. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, You're talking he, about that guy. He, <laughs> exactly. The guy that we're talking about is Javon Quinley uh, over at Villanova. And what is that? Yikes! Je jelly fam? Yeah. He wanted to take back that jelly. <laughs> it was a, it's a peanut butter sandwich. No. Peanut butter. All oh, peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, Nothing else. But no jelly in that sandwich. Yeah, take, take that back. Nice. But I think really um, that situation is something that he probably was, you know, looking to kind of take back and, and you know, be, I guess, remorseful for. Because the quote he put up was, uh, they're my second choice for a reason. And I think that's something that you don't really say, especially if you're, you know, in the season, kind of playing and trying to find your way on a team. Yeah. I don't know if you put that out there. So what do you think about that? Yeah. I mean, you know, I've had very disappointing losses in my day. Okay. Very frustrating losses. Mm. You got to keep that stuff 
person. You gotta just you gotta keep it internal. So. If anything, if anything, you talk it out with your teammates, but don't go to social media. Hey, second choice, third choice. You made your choice, so you can't. No regrets. Can't back down. No. Yeah, no regrets. You yeah. gotta go with you know. No, I I, what you I, chose. I feel that completely. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't know Jelly Fam, it's a New York tri-state area movement that's really making it you know New York basketball kind of come back into yeah. the fold. Huge and, for the culture. Yeah, it's huge for the culture and. Um, Infamous layup right here. You know, they have a lot of finesse in their game and things like that. And it's high school and college players that are kind of coming together to push that, you know, push the envelope for New York basketball. Yeah. Oh, do you think Jelly Fam really, really works in college? Jelly Fam is a, it's a, it's an art form. Mm-hmm. It's street ball. Okay. It's the reason why I fell in love with the game of basketball. True. But, you know, there's limitations to how it can be effective. This is what I think, okay? When you get into college, you can't just always come in and go, like hey. that, you know what I mean? You got guys like me waiting for you in the paint. So <laughs> it's not always applicable, you know? And then when you look at like guys that, uh, that played street ball, that were known for playing street ball, mm-hmm. True. you know, and they play at a high level, they yeah. don't pan out. Yeah. Ray for Alston, I love to skip to my loot, dude. He's still my hero. I actually got a tattoo of him. It's a little, you know what? Let that let that be uh, for now. Yeah, let well, that be we'll, for now. yeah we can just, we can talk. We can right. talk. But I love skip. Talk about somebody else, LA native, Baron Davis. <laughs> BD was in the he paint. He went street ball. BD was in the paint though. That's what the, I'm just saying though. Paint touches and jelly fam is kind of like to me they coincide in a way because you can't do a jelly without getting to the paint. And if that's what your game is, you're in the paint because you got to get it off. And I feel like jelly fam for that reason that's the is actually wave. something that could wave. work. Catch and old shoot, wave. efficient. Efficiency. I mean, yeah. I like the finesse. So I'm rocking with jelly fam. I don't know how he's feeling. Let us know what you think about Jelly Fan below in the comments. And, uh, you know, we might feature something else about them. But I think that's how we're ending our show today. You know, we thank you guys for watching. It was a, it was a great thank show. You. We got to put on some, you know, some good dudes. Thank you. We appreciate it. This is lovely. A beautiful candle for the low. Trust me, I know where to get it. Ooh, what does that mean? Is that, is that what well, that's our show right there. And we thank you guys for watching another episode of Who's Up Next. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. And we'll be back every week with another update of your highlighted players. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and let us know what you think. Subscribe, like, comment. Let us know what you think. All right.